Hi, in this video I want to explain what is the amplicon and imagine that we have uh, one strand of DNA, so this is DNA, and we are going to use PCR, that is a polymerase chain reaction, in order to amplify some uh, segment of this, uh, whether it can be single-stranded DNA that we start with, or it can be double-stranded uh, DNA that we start with. But uh, for the beginning we have to uh, design two types of the primers for each of the strands of DNA. And this can be one type of uh, primer, and this is can be a second type of primer for the second strand of DNA. So, uh, for example, uh, here we have a first type of uh, primer and this is going to anneal to the single strand and second type doesn't uh, take an action in this first uh, step. So this is going to be 5 prime and here and 3 prime and here and uh, with the help of the polymerase, we extend it this way, and polymerase always extends from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So this is new strand. Uh, this is this end going to be 3 prime end also, and here 5 prime end and 3 prime end respectfully. So uh, when we raise the temperature and these two strands of DNA that we start with would uh, separate uh, once again oh, so we have two strands of DNA and one that we start with and uh, here we have our first type of primer that going to anneal to the same place and now we have second type of primer that would anneal to new strand and also we would extend new strand of the DNA in this direction and new strand of DNA in this direction. So this is how uh, polymerase chain reaction works and uh, this particular region is amplicon And uh, with each cycle we will have more and more uh, of these amplicons and uh, our initial DNA can be thousands or millions of base pairs but we will limit uh, the size of the amplicon with our primers that is here and we may just choose uh, one uh, section of the DNA that could be, for example, 150 uh, base pairs. So uh, maximum we what we might get is 700 base pairs, usually with PCR, and uh, it can be in some cases can be run up to 2,000 base pairs. But because um, accumulation of the mistakes uh, with the long runs, it's not recommended. So, um, as you see, uh, when we run PCR, we might get uh, with 30 or 40 thermocycles uh, millions of uh, amplicons, and also. Uh, uh, in this particular example, uh, there are going to be one amplicon, but also with uh, other. Uh, I want to show you uh, another example when we might run one uh, uh, PCR and get many different amplicons, and uh, this is example of uh, Codis. You maybe heard this uh, abbreviation that stands for the 
uh, genetic uh, sequencing and um, this is uh, also called genetic fingerprinting for example uh, we have uh, 23 chromosomes 23 pairs of chromosomes one from the uh, one chromosome in each pair from the father side another from the mother side so uh, I won't draw all of them I just want to um, use uh, some small uh, portion of them just to use as example and we uh, for codes for example we use uh, only 13 uh, chromosomes plus X and Y chromosome uh, in order to find out the gender of the person and um, on uh, 13 chromosomes uh, we have uh, fragments or locus on each of the chromosome that is one from the mother side another from the father side that uh, might show uh, variability in length for example, if we take uh, this example, uh, just imagine that we also uh, have special, specially designed primers and we amplified this sequence, particular sequence, and uh, here we might have a, a repetition of trinucleotides, for example, ATA. A T A two times and this particular um, sequence we got from the father side and uh, on the homologous chromosome uh, from the mother side we might get uh, same fragment that is uh, also we have same uh, primers and uh, but this time we have uh, this uh, trinucleotide uh, repeated not two times but three times so this is going to be three times and if we run a gel In this case, as you see, uh, this is going to be uh, short and this we consider to be long because it's longer and also this is going to be, uh, this one going to be heavier because it's longer and this short going to be lighter and when we run a gel, this is going to be uh, minus and here going to be plus and so um, DNA is uh, sorry this is going to be minus uh, plus and and here going to be uh, plus and uh, minus and so when we run a gel uh, DNA uh, negatively charged and would travel from the negative charge to the positive so uh, our uh, these two uh, fragments of DNA going to separate because of the different lengths different uh, uh, number of nucleotides and one we can consider to be lighter and another one heavier so uh, this one that has uh, more nucleotides would travel shorter distance and uh, this that is smaller and lighter would travel longer distance so this two would separate what if we for example uh, here would have uh, one locus that from the mother side and father side would have the same uh, number of repetition for example two or both then 
they have might have uh, three or five but um, the idea just uh, this uh, two would have the same number of repetition in this case we will get only one stripe for example here so as you see uh, we have 13 different uh, uh, chromosomes and certain different locuses on those chromosomes so that means that we might get uh, uh, between 13 and maximum 26 uh, different stripes so certain if everything all these uh, homologous um, sequences would be would have the same uh, repetitions that is uh, very unlikely and uh, 26 if uh, all of them would have different uh, number of repetitions so this is just extremes and real number should be somewhere in between these two uh, extremes and also we have uh, um, one uh, fragment on the X and Y chromosomes those uh, these two chromosomes are very different in their sizes but still they have some fragments on each chromosome that is homologous and uh, these two uh, chromosomes have uh, such um, genes that codes for NML it's called anomaline and it's uh, at the intron number one on the X chromosome has a deletion of the six bases so uh, uh, X chromosome uh, fragment that we are particularly interested in would be uh, six bases shorter than the those that uh, derived from the um, Y chromosome and uh, this particular um, particular fragment would tell us uh, if it the gender of the person if these two um, uh, would separate that we have one from the X chromosome uh, another fragment from the Y chromosome and this is going to be male and if we have one stripe for this particular locus that means that we have uh, um, two uh, X chromosomes here and that means that we have a uh, female so uh, with one run as you see we may have uh, uh, many applicants here and uh, this is just another example uh, uh, every single applicant um, uh, might be present in millions of copies for each locus and we also might run, run a gel and uh, will all the stripes would show on the gel I almost done I just want to add that uh, for example our sequence of the interest uh, here might be this short but we design our primers that doesn't flank this uh, short sequence of our interest but we also might have some uh, space here between two primers because we just cannot design primers for those places uh, this would wouldn't be effective to design for those places or uh, if we design primers there this just would disrupt uh, the whole sequence uh, the, the whole process of the PCR for example if we have uh, long runs of the same uh, base like adenine or guanine cyt any of four bases actually or a repetition like uh, AT, AT and um, AT so uh, such sequence might lead to formation of the primer dimer when one primer would uh, be self complementary and uh, also we may have situation when just two primers may also form uh, primer dimers and be complementary for some sequence 
so uh, our amplicon is not just I just want to uh, repeat this uh, uh, our amplicon is not just the sequence of our interest but also might include a sequence that we are not interested and also sequence of the primers so this is all for today hopefully this information will be new and interesting for you thank you for attention please subscribe to my new videos goodbye